Are you about to buy a brand new TV? There are so many different types of TV out there. So let's break it down and explain what is mini LED. Welcome to EFTF. Now it used to be that it was quite simple. You had uh, plasma, then you had LED. And then it got a little bit complicated because we started getting QLED, uh, full array, uh, backlit, edge lit. I mean, there's a lot of different styles of TV. So what I want to show you is this TCL, this is a C835, this is a mini LED TV. And I'll t tell you why that's important. Mini LED is a newer technology. And so you're only just starting to hear about it. But then you hear about micro, you hear about OLED, you hear about QLED, you hear about QNED. You hear, there's just so many different terms out there. It's more than a bit confusing. So what is mini LED? So we have to take a little bit of a history lesson here. We have to look at televisions generally and how they work. You have got a, a layer of pixels, a layer of colored pixels that present the picture. But the problem is you don't see the picture unless there's light shining through it. Now the light on a original back in the day LED was just a big light at the back that shone through and allowed you to see the colored pixels. Bingo, we've got ourselves a beautiful color TV, LED. Now, what they realized was that, that one big light meant that if you had a large area of black on the screen and a large area of color, you'd end up with a gray and a color. And so what they did, they started working on edge lighting. So you had these lights along the edge, LED lights along the edge that shone in. And that helped them kind of focus the light a little bit. It also took away the amount of light and made it more power um, less power consumption, which was good for the environment. But then you realize that that doesn't allow you to do that kind of isolation still. You've still got this large area of color, large area of black, and a, and a real blooming. So the biggest thing you'll notice in a TV is what we call blooming, and it's best demonstrated, and I'll show you a little YouTube video I found that demonstrates it, where you have just white on the screen and you can see gray around it. That's blooming from the LEDs. So what they ended up doing was doing a thing called full array local dimming. So you'd have these TVs that have hundreds of LEDs, but the LEDs might be the size of a 10 cent coin or a 20 cent coin, and they would sit and they would light up an area of the screen. Now, some might have 50 areas of dimming, some might have hundreds of areas of dimming. And that means that if there's an area of dark and an area of light, you'd get better ability to have deep blacks and a contrast between them. But you're still limited by the size of these LEDs is where this comes in. This is a TCL. Many companies have mini LED, but I'll tell you what they're all doing wrong is they're marketing it differently. So a lot of companies are just calling it something else. They're calling it part of their existing branding. I think they should just be quite simple and clear and say mini LED like TCL and some others are doing because that makes it easy for you to decide what you're going to buy. This is a mini LED TV and so if you strip away the, uh, the coating on here, you strip away the, the, uh, the actual colored pixels, what you'll see is thousands, tens of thousands of mini LEDs, they're tiny. So you get like this little circuit board which is itself full of hundreds of little LED lights. Now they don't individually light up, but they light up in smaller zones. There could be, and I haven't counted and don't know, but there could be a thousand zones on this TV. And that means that along here, thousands and thousands of zones of light, which means that when this area is bright, that area is darker, and the, the difference between the two, the contrast between the light and the dark is much, much greater, and that gives you a better picture quality overall. The, the beautiful thing about mini LED is it's more affordable to produce than, than an OLED, um, and it's better dynamic picture than your standard backlit or edge lit. And so it sits beautifully in a price point that makes it a great picture quality at a pretty darn good price. So let me show you a quick little YouTube video which demonstrates that it's not the bee's knees, but it's better than what you'll get probably on your home TV. So this is just a YouTuber who has created this bouncing pixel. And what's fascinating about it, it's hard to see, but it's there. And it is being, it's illuminating the, LED, the mini LEDs. And so you'll see here, I'm getting illumination, I reckon, the, so, the size of less than the palm of your hand. And it's fascinating to see it move around because when I look at it here, the blooming is millimeters, millimeters. There's only a very small amount of gray. When there's more light, 
there's a little bit more blooming. But this demonstrates to me, and you can't see it perfectly here, but this is the kind of thing you want to look at in store. You want to ask the people in the retail stores to show you a TV in these kind of modes. You want to look at outside of those standard uh, loops that you get. Jump it onto YouTube, look at a clip, uh, fire up a, a streaming service, do something different when you're looking at a TV. But the, the blooming that I'm seeing here is so narrow. And that's what's fascinating about this picture. So what you're looking at with mini LED is a better picture quality. It's as simple as that. I I'm going to be honest, it's not the best picture quality, but it is far from the price of that as well. And that's what's critical here. For a better price, you get a better picture and it's great value. So mini LED, when you see it, when you hear about it, you get a little bit of a better picture of what it is. It's thousands of mini tiny little LEDs that allow a better contrast between the blacks and the colors and give you an overall better picture quality. This one's from TCL. This is the C835. There are many on the market. TCL and other brands have heaps of mini LED TVs. So if you're in the market and you can't afford those absolute top end TVs, I think you're going to get solid, amazing bang for your buck with a mini LED TV.